In this video, we are going to discuss the maximum minima of two variables. So in this case, we have a function of fx, fxy can be expressed as x square plus y square plus 2xy. So this is just an example. So whenever we are given a function of two variables, we can find out stationary points or the critical points by partially differentiating the function f with respect to x and with respect to y. So if you partially differentiate with respect to x and y, we will get two equations and you have to solve those two equations simultaneously. And the roots of this equation by combination of different value of x and y are called as stationary points. So we can have the different roots like x1, y1. Suppose we have only one root, then our stationary point will be m, x1, y1. If we solve the first equation and we obtain two roots, one root is x1, second root is x2. And from second equation, we obtain only one root. Then we can form two pairs. One pair will be x1, y1. And second pair, that is second root will be x2, y1. So depending upon the number of roots formed from the del f by del x and del f by del y, you have to select the combination. Suppose we have a situation that we have only one root from the del f by del x and we have two roots from del f by del y. So in this case, you can form two pairs. One is m0, x1, y1. Second is x1, y2. And suppose we have two roots from the first equation like x1, x2 and y1, y2 from the second equation. So in this case, you can form four stationary points x1, y1. Then we have x1, y2. Then we have x2, y1. And finally, the fourth point is x2, y2. So this is a procedure to find out a stationary point. Confirm your stationary point depending upon the number of roots of del f by del x and del f by del y. And to find out the maximum minima, you have to evaluate the second order derivative on all these stationary points. So what you do is that first of all you find out one determinant which consists of second order derivative of del, of del square f by del x square, del square f by del x del y and del square f by del y square. How to, you can remember this in quick form. So first term is xx, second term is yx or we can say xy. This term is yx is same as xy and this one is yy. And then you simply write f double dash. So you can very well remember that is a delta term, the determinant term. So once you obtain this delta and if your delta is greater than 0 and the first term that is del square f by del x square is also greater than 0, you can conclude the minima. And if delta greater than 0 and del square f by is less than 0, you conclude maxima. And if delta greater than 0 and you come across del square f by del x square is equal to 0, then it represents inflection point that is neither maxima nor minima. For all these three conditions, your delta must be greater than 0. And if your delta is less than 0, there is no need to go for any test further. And we can conclude that there is no conclusion can be drawn from the given stationary points. In this problem, we are given fxy is a function is equals to 2x square plus 3y square minus 4x plus 3y plus 5. And we have to only find out stationary point. So first of all, we will do del f by del x, which is equal to 4x minus 4. And to find out a stationary point, let equal to 0. So this gives me x equal to 1. So only one value of the root. Then we partial differentiate with respect to y. And we'll get del f by del y equal to 6y. And here we get plus 3 equal to 0. So if you solve this, we'll get y is equal to minus 1 by 2. So we have only one pair of x and y can be formed. So we have only one stationary point. That is 1 comma minus 1 by 2. Choice D is correct choice. Now we will continue this to go for the given point represents the maxima or minima. So first of all we will find out del square f by del x square. We already got del f by del x here. So derivative of this with respect to x is again equals to 4. Similarly we can calculate del square f del y square. So this time is 6 only. Now we want to calculate the derivative with respect to x and y itself. So we have del square f del x del y. You can use any of the equation. Use this equation differentiate with respect to y. 
your answer will be 0. So put this value back into delta. So we have delta equals to del square f is 4. Del square f by del x del y is 0. Again 0. And we have del square f by del y square is 6. So this number is 24. So 24 is greater than 0. So we will go for the first terms. First term here is this term is also greater than 0. So we have del square f by del x square which is equal to 4 is greater than 0. So we conclude that the given stationary point is a minima because it satisfies the So we have minima at 1 comma minus 1 by 2. So first of all in this problem we will find out the stationary point by taking del f by del x. So we have a der uh, derivative of this one is 3 times x cube. So 3 will get cancelled. We have x square. Derivative of this term is twice x and then equal to 0. So x can be taken common. So we have x into x plus 2 equal to 0. So either x is equal to 0 or x equals to minus 2. So we have two roots x1 equal to 0 and x2 equals to minus 2. Now we will take a derivative, uh, derivative with respect to y. So this term will be equal to 2y. So it will be simply y and minus 4. So we have only one solution for y1 that equal to 4. Using x1, y1 we can find one stationary point and x2, y2 will make a second stationary point. So first stationary point is 0, 4. Second stationary point is minus 2, 4. So choice A is correct choice. And now if we want to find out the maxima minima, so we will find out first second order derivative del square f by del x square. So that will be equal to twice x plus 2. Then same term will differentiate with respect to y, we will get del square f del x del y equal to 0. And if we differentiate this with respect to y, we will get del square f by del y square equal to 1. So we have delta equals to this term will be same as 2x plus 2. This term will be 0. Again 0. And then we have 1. So this answer will always equals to 2x plus 2. So for first stationary point that is 0 minus 4, 0, 4, we have delta equal to 2 into 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 greater than 0. So first condition is satisfied. Now we will check out del square f by del x square. So del square f by del x square is same as 2x plus 2 which is again equal to 2 is greater than 0. So this point represents the minima. Similarly we will try for second stationary point minus 2 comma 4. This time delta equal to 2x so 2 into minus 2 plus 2. So this answer is negative minus 2 and since delta is less than 0 we can't draw any conclusion. That is basically the test is fail. So in this case we have only one minima. Take another problem here and we are given a function here and we want to find out critical points so procedure remains same we have del f by del x that equal to twice x minus of 4y plus 8 is equals to 0. So we can solve for, from this equation for x. So we have x equals to 2y minus 4 let's say equation number 1. Similarly, we have del f by del y that is equals to 2y. From this term, we can generate minus 4x. This term is minus 10 equal to 0. We have 2y. We substitute for x from the above equation is 2y minus 4 minus 10 equal to 0. So we have 2y minus 8y plus 16 minus 10 is equal to 0. So what we left is 6y equal to 6. And therefore, we have y equals to 1. So we will put this value back in equation 1 and we obtain the first stationary point as x equals to 2 minus 2. So we have one stationary point that is minus 2 comma 1. That is our answer is choice C. To continue our test will the second order derivative del square f by del x square. So derivative of this term with respect to x is 2. Then we will find out del square f by del x del y. Derivative of this with respect to y is minus 4. 
and then we'll take del square f by del y square so derivative of this term will be equals to 2 let's find out delta using this term so this value is equal to 2 this value will be minus 4 minus 4 and 2 so this answer will be 4 minus of minus 4 into minus 4 so this answer is minus 12 so minus 12 is less than 0 so there is no conclusion that is the test spell let's take another problem and we want to find out again the stationary point so this time function is given in the form of 4x square plus 4xy minus 2y cube to find out stationary point first of all take del f by del x which is equal to 8x plus 4y equal to 0 so we can solve for y here so we have y is equals to minus of 2x secondly we have del f by del y equals to 0 that will be 4x minus of 6y square equal to 0 so we have 4x will substitute for y as minus of 2x and we'll solve this equation we'll get 4x minus 24x square equal to 0 4x can be taken common we left with 1 minus 6x so we have one value of x equal to 0 and we have one value of x equal to 1 by 6 correspondingly we can generate one value of y from this equation y is equal to 2x so first value is 0 and second value is minus 1 by 3 so we have two stationary point one is 0 0 and one is 1 by 6 minus 1 by 3 so choice c is correct choice now in this problem we are already given the stationary points condition and we have to calculate the maximum minima so first of all we will calculate stationary point here as del f by del x is given as 9x square minus 9 so 9 can be taken common is x square minus 1 equals to 0 so we have x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 1 are the two roots of this equation we can call it x1 and x2 secondly we have given del f by del y also that is 2y plus 4 so we have y1 only one root of y is equal to minus 2 so we can form two pair one is x1 y1 second is x2 y1 so first stationary point is 1 comma minus 2 second stationary point is minus 1 comma minus 2 now we'll try to find out delta first that is the second order derivative of this term with respect to x so we have del square f by del x square so we have del square f by del x del y is equals to 0 and we have finally del square f by del y square that equal to 2 only so for first point that is 1 comma minus 2 we have delta equal to 18x so first term is 18x 18x means 18 second term is 0 third term is also 0 and 2 so this number is 36 and this is greater than 0 even the first term of this del square f by del x square is equal to 18 is also greater than 0 so it means that the given point represents minima now same we'll try for second stationary point that is minus 1 comma minus 2 so this time delta will become 18x of minus 1 is minus 18 rest there is no change 0 2 2 this answer is th minus 36 less than 0 so there is no conclusion it means that we have only one minima in this case that is at 1 comma minus 2